What's up, y'all? This is Thrice with Salt of Earth here at the Questers Club, chilling in the VRC. I wanted to go over full body tracking. Now, I'm wearing the Oculus Quest 2 right now, and yes, I get the full body tracking with my setup with that, but really, this full body tracking can be used with any headset that uses Steam VR. So how this works is you use the Xbox Connect either for the 360 or the One. Then you do need a gaming PC that is good enough to run VR, as well as Driver 4 VR. That's the software that you are going to need. And then when it comes to the Connect, the only other thing that you need along with it is the drivers installed on your computer for whichever Connect it is. And I'll make sure to have the link down below with those drivers. So setup is pretty simple. We're going to run through that real quick here. All right, y'all. First thing you want to do is make sure you have all the physical things that you need. So you're going to need a Connect, gaming PC, all the cords and wires in order to make sure the Connect can plug into the gaming PC, as well as be powered, which is a special cord that not every Connect comes with. So make sure to get that. And of course, you need the headset. Once you know that you've got the right tech and you're all ready to go, everything powers on and connects, and you get that little doo doo when the Connect connects to your PC, you need to go to this website right here and get the proper connect drivers for the device you have because there's the connect one and the connect 360 so i will get those links down in the description below and just go here click to download make sure you install them and they're good to go one of the number one ways to install them is to go to your device manager and click on the connect there and you can update the drivers directly from the folder where you have the drivers stored okay the next step is going to be to go get driver 4 vr it is definitely worth the price and it has been amazing because it doesn't only work for this, but you can actually do your regular trackers with it. I'll have more information on that in the future. And again, there's so many different features with Driver 4 VR. Technically, I don't even need my controllers when using Driver 4 VR with certain things like if I'm just hanging out in VR chat and not just because of the, the Quest hand tracking with virtual desktop, but because it will track your hands with Driver 4 VR as well. So there are a few other things for Driver 4 VR that I really am not going to get into this video, but are really cool. Once Driver 4 VR is paid for, downloaded, and installed on your PC, go ahead and open it up to run it and log in with your credentials that you paid for your subscription with. Once you log in, Driver 4 VR will verify, and then comes the setup with the Connect. Generally, setup should be pretty simple. It should immediately notice that you have the Connect plugged into the computer, and once you get the verification from the program that the connect is there, all you have to do is go to this calibration mode. You go to the two step calibration right here, and then you're going to simply click calibrate. And it's going to be a very easy process of standing in one place so that you can see your full skeletal structure and then moving to another spot. And then once it finishes, you simply close out that window and you're good to go. From here, we're going to jump into the VRC, and we're pretty much already ready to go with the basic setup for Driver 4 VR with the Connect and any VR headset with Steam. Now that you've gone through the hardest parts, all you got to do is jump into the VRC, open up your menu, and you'll see a new button where Seated and Standing Play is. It's now saying Calibrate with the dominant T-Pose character, and you are going to simply line up with your avatar, and I'll show you when I click mine. And you'll make sure that you have these little balls on your feet. You want to try to line them up as best as you can with the legs. And then, of course, your controllers. Try to line them up with your hands. And we're here in the Abbey. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. I tried to make it as fast as possible because I'm going to put some longer ones out. And I just wanted to try to have a short one for everybody. And then I'll go into more details, especially with the Oculus Quest. There's a lot more going on. Um, whether it's the Quest or the Quest 2, and then kind of just run through the different headsets of what could be going on as far as errors, troubleshooting, because the truth is most of these tutorials make it look way easier than it really is when half of us try to set things like this up, and VR setup half the time fails anyways. <laughs> so I'm going to make sure to be getting some more videos like this out soon, and if you have any suggestions, feel free to drop down in the comments below, as well as let me know what headset you're rocking in VR, and if you frequent the VRC, and have you checked out new club I made? Club Questers. Yee yee. It's a Quest compatible club as well as a PC VR club. We'll be having more stuff um, installed here soon. And uh, yeah, more maps coming out as well. Besides that, thank you all. Hit that subscribe button and that like button. And there's a bell icon so that way you can get notified for more awesome PC VR gaming content coming at you from the metaverse. So 
Remember, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and it all begins with you. Seriously. So thank you for watching these videos. Appreciate all the new views and the new subscribers. Big shout out to those who have also joined the Discord. More stuff coming at you. So I'll see you in the next live stream or the next video. Bye.